What are we doing today? Doing something stupid for the camera. We're gonna exercise in, right now it's 100. It'll be probably 104 by the time we get to the main set. Extreme UV index. I have to start logging all my outdoor workouts with both the temperature and the UV index because it uh, greatly affects the workout. So, so we're gonna do some heat prep for, uh, I guess, St. George. Maybe it'll still be hot in September. And the workout will be three by three K under these extreme conditions. Oh, is it cold? Ice cold. Oh. It's really hot. Let's title this video, Why People Don't Exercise in the Middle of the Day in Arizona in the Summer. It's 106. Oh, yeah, my core temperature is 106. How'd you oh. feel? I mean, my cool down, to put it into perspective, my cool down, my heart rate was 146. <clears throat> I've run a 15, 10, 5K 
with an average heart rate of 151. So I'm like, uh, same heart rate, but a minute and 10 seconds slower per kilometer. So, but <clears throat> the interesting thing is my heart rate never gets very high when I train inside. So then when I go outside and it's hot, my heart rate gets extremely high and it's really mind, um, it's, it's uh, like mentally very challenging because I'm not used to it. So there might be some upside. I got infatuated with the idea of always having optimal conditions so that I run like fast. But the fact of the matter is my best running Kona so far has been 252, which is like, I don't know, four, 410 per kilometer or something like that. So it's like, that's not even fast. It's not even remotely fast. So the question is doing all this fast running, does it really make you better at running in Kona off the bike when it's, oh God, my eyes, when it's 90 plus degrees. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it probably is helpful, but if you're not used to running in the heat, like holding 140 heart, for me, 140 heart rate's really high. And if you don't have any experience holding that for hours, an hour anyway, I mean, I don't know how all of a sudden you're gonna do that for three hours. So there's something to be learned. I don't know if I'd recommend doing this very often. And this, doing your easy runs, no problem. But I mean, I was running, I did two times 3K and a 2K. First one, 336. Second one, 341. Third one, 341. And my heart rate's 156. My max heart rate is probably like 169 or something. So it's like, it's like hard. How do you how do you push yourself during those to keep going? Well, mental, mental. But at some point, you, I was able to do it. But imagine in Kona, you're two hours in and your heart rate's 150, 155, and it's been there for almost two hours. At some point, mentally, you start to really, you can't push yourself anymore. Like mental fatigue sets in, and so so there's something to be to be learned here. Okay, so another reason why people don't exercise in the summer in the middle uh, in Arizona. I started this run, I weighed in at 160.6. I ran 20K in an hour and 20. And now I weigh at 152.6. I lost eight pounds in an hour and 20 minutes. So I made weight for, uh, for a lightweight fight freaking effing one million trillion degrees I'm trying to record a line running oh, we all want to 